one. So I thought I would take advantage of the situation. I'm just out of the shower, have my clothes on, and I'm like, well, I have to put on makeup. I might as well film it and make a video out of it. So here I am with my hair in the towel, and I figure after I get all my face makeup on, I will stop, dry my hair, come back, do the lips, and finish the look. So stick around to the end to see how my hair turns out. It's always a mystery to me. So today's video is not sponsored. I define sponsored as where I have entered into a relationship with a brand via a contract. There are specific guidelines, specifications on both sides. There is a money transfer at some point at the end of the process. To be honest, you're never paid ahead of time. And in YouTube world, when it says this video is sponsored, I've been paid. The I've been paid part isn't usually accurate. It's usually anywhere from 30 to 120 days later. Just a little inside information there. Skin Store did reach out to me and wanted to know if I'd be interested in exploring their site, try out some products, and just basically find a new place to purchase makeup. That's not to say I'm turning my back on all the other places, but I like having options. You know that if you've watched me for a while. And I like I like the whole process. And so I thought, let's do a focused video on a brand that I have loved for a very long time and that they have an extensive product list over on Skin Store. And that is a Wonder Beauty focused video. Get ready with me. Before I get too far into it, I do wanna say that Skin Store very generously offered a discount code to all of you. It is good for a year and it is 25% off. I think it's pretty much site-wide and it's pretty simple. The code is Marnie, M-A-R-N-I-E. I do have to say I found the shopping experience super easy. I found the site easy to navigate. I could filter what I wanted. I really wanted to focus on makeup and stay out of skincare this time. So I just easily found all the Wonder Beauty stuff. I placed my order and I think, I didn't select any special shipping and I got it here in two days. So their shipping is incredible. You can tell when I skip this, my eyes definitely look more tired. This is the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. I didn't even look to see if they carry this at Skin Store. I do have all my skincare on, my SPF, which is that SkinCeuticals one, that UV physical defense that I love. And then before I put on foundation, I do this as a color corrector under my eyes. It really works. Look at that, I look less dead. Now for the foundation, I have two shades. I did order um, a darker shade, medium, in one of my favorite foundations. It's the Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation. I'm currently not self tanning. I'm kind of letting it all fade. So if I look a little patchy, that would be why. I need to do a deep scrub and start all over. But I do have it in Fair Light. This is an older bottle. It's a little darker than my current skin tone, which I like. I like it adding a little bit of warmth to my skin. I mean, it's not crazy dark. And I have been wearing a mask a lot more than usual because I've been going out. So I got a couple little breakouts. What are we calling that now? Mask me. This is one of my go-to foundations. It's great for every day. If you like a little more say, glam or fuller coverage, it's definitely a solid medium coverage. But I love it for even special occasions. This is what I reached for this particular foundation. It's a little bit, I wouldn't say it's radiant. I'd say it's more like satin. It gives a nice, healthy, skin-like appearance without completely covering up freckles or some kind of skin tone underneath. I totally forgot one of the things I ordered was this brush. I have a few of um, Wonder Beauty brushes, but I didn't have this one. This is, I think, the foundation and concealer. I do want to put a little bit more on, so let's try it. I don't really need to, but let's just add a little where I have some. I like to layer a little extra foundation in this area now because masks on off, on off. So the top of this is very dense, very short bristles, kind of weighted here. And then this is a flat brush good for concealer, I'd say. Interesting. I don't think this is doing anything to distribute. No, we're not. Back to BK Beauty. Speaking of BK Beauty, I use her brushes almost exclusively at this point, and it's not because Lisa J is one of my dearest friends, which she is, but these brushes are so good. And if you're only gonna buy one brush from BK Beauty, get this one, it's the 106. I use it for everything, foundation, concealer, which you'll see in a moment, cream liquid type products. All right, let's do some concealer. So I've talked about this one before as well. This is not new. It is the uh, Duelist Concealer. 
and I have it in a few shades. This is the shade light. I also bought from Skin Store, I don't know where, oh, I put it in the bag, the medium shade, which I don't need right now. And it has two concealers. It has more of a illuminating one that's great for under the eyes. It could have gone with the lighter shade, but we'll go with that. I have a fair as well. And then it has more of a, a matte kind of stick version. There you go. Um, which is good for on the face. Like I said, I like to do a little bit extra from the nose and mouth. So I'm gonna do that first because I'm using the same brush. I don't want the illuminating stuff all over my face. So I do that last. I'm going to set under the eyes with the only other non Wonder Beauty product, the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is just the best for setting under the eyes. I wish I had Botox for here. That is not currently a place you can put Botox. So the fine lines right here, I can really only address with Retin-A. Now for powder, this usually lives in my purse and it is their powder foundation. I have it in the shade Fair Light. I ordered another one from Skin Store in Medium that I've been using for the last couple of weeks, but I'm back to being my normal-ish skin tone. So. Um, you can use it if you want pretty heavy coverage. Use it with the pad that comes with it. I like that the pad doesn't sit. See, look. It sits on this little plastic piece that comes off. This little clear plastic. And then you can, if you want a heavier coverage, use the puff. And that really gives you... I mean, it's a powder foundation. It's not a setting powder. And that's what I like to use around this area because masks. And I keep this in my purse because this is the best for touching up if your makeup transfers off, or even if you're not wearing a mask, even if it's just like a normal, if it's 2019 or 2021, hopefully. Um, you know, your makeup wears off during the course of the day, and so it's nice to be able to touch it up. Okay, then I'm using a brush for the rest of it. Now they do have another pretty ingenious um, powder. I'm not sure if this is on the skin. I think this is on the skin store, skin store site. It is the Play All Day Translucent Powder, and this is amazing. So it comes in this container. It's pretty deep. Has a really nice mirror, and then it has this big puff. And check this out. This is the bottom of the container. What is it? All the powder is in here. We'll try it at the end as like a finishing thing. So if you want to touch up. See if I hit it, if it'll come out. Did you see that? Oh yeah. So you pounce that on your face and it just gives you enough powder without being cakey and nothing, you basically have loose powder on the go. This is pretty cool. So we'll try it at the end. But now it is time for bronzer and highlighting and blush. So I am going to go with, what am I going with? Ah, another favorite. It is the Wonder Beauty Trip. I'm gonna stop saying Wonder Beauty. Obviously, you know it's from Wonder Beauty. It's the Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. I have it in the lighter option. It's Bellini and Costa Ray. You can see it is well loved. I actually have had this for over a year now. I took it with me on a trip, um, our fall trip last year, and it was just all I needed for the whole trip. Now, before I get to the blush, I did order This Is New and I love it. It is the After Hours Wondrous Glow Illuminator Wondrous. It's a highlighter. It's so pretty. It's just sort of a universal shade. It's so shiny the camera can't even focus on it. And I'm just gonna pop that on the cheekbones. I always do the highlighter before the blush so it looks like that glow is coming from deep within. Back to the duo for Bellini, which is not a liquid drink, it is a blush, and I still I love this blush brush so much. It is from Flower Beauty, like Walmart or Ulta, but it's fabulous. But this blush is so pretty and so perfect. It's the perfect sort of, I'd say it's almost matte, maybe satin, and it's the perfect blend of peach and pink. It kind of reminds me of what orgasm would look like if um, it didn't have shimmer. Maybe it's a little pinker, but I think it's the perfect blush. Let's get to eyes. So one of the things I ordered was an eyebrow pencil, and this is the Frame Your Face Microbrow Pencil in Blonde. 
It does have um, a very fine little tip. It's you know one of those wind up guys. And then on this end is a spoolie. I don't know that I got the right shade. I should have maybe gotten a darker one. Actually, this color is just fine. If you like a waxier pencil, I'd say this is more waxy. I prefer a little creamier, to be honest. But the color is good. Let's backtrack a second. I forgot lip balm. This is what lives in front of like in my makeup area. It's just their clear, I think they call it beach balm. Now it comes in colors, I'll show you one later. But that's usually what I pop on. I rotate through a few balms, this is one of them. I normally don't use an eye primer and I don't feel like any of their shadows need it, but they do make one. This is the Smooth Sailing 360 eye primer. Just pat that in. When I think of Wonder Beauty, I do think of eyeshadow. One of my all time favorite palettes is the Wondrous Escape. Their shimmers are incredible, but I'm not gonna reach for this one today. I am really enjoying this trend of smaller palettes because even though I traveled with all of these, this would be quite a pile. Because they're small, they, they still don't take up that much room. So I did order a couple new ones. I already had Seascape, which has some stunning colors, but Seafoam is one of my all-time favorites. It's a golden green, it's just gorgeous. And Sand Dollar is one of my favorite matte crease shades. I also already had the Rush palette. It has some really beautiful, rich shades. I'd say my standout favorites are Change and this really rich, swift brown. I love that. But then I ordered two new ones from Skin Store. I ordered, first of all, this packaging, Wondrous Fling, and these colors are stunning. Look at this pink. Like, I don't normally gravitate towards this color on my eyes, but I might. I might do that all over the lid because it's just so pretty. But then, every time I wear this palette, I get so many compliments on what I'm wearing. It's their off-duty palette, which I also just recently ordered, and it's right up my street. It's all those neutral, kind of warm but not too warm shades. I am going to do a combination of fling and off-duty. So I'm gonna start with off-duty because it's really good to, as a base. And I'm gonna start with Shoreline, which is this mid-tone brown. If you hear weird snorts, Mimi is right behind me having a dream. Okay, so just a wash of this mid-tone brown up pretty high on my crease because I don't have I have hooded eyes, so I need to cheat it a little. And then on the brow bone itself, I'm gonna go into Fling and take Eden. I will say the one thing that Wander Beauty tends to miss in all of their palettes, I'm looking at all of these palettes, there's no matte or satin brow bone shade, not one. Okay, I'm gonna go back with Shoreline and just run that under the lash line. Let's get Orchid on. Orchid is that pretty pinky purple shade here, lilac. Shimmers, I think, for any brand, do much better when used with your finger. Wow. Wow. It's so pretty. And it's not outrageous. Like, I mean, it's a very bright color, but I feel like it's balanced. All right, I'm going to take a Wonder Beauty. It's another dual brush. There's flat on one side and crease on the other. I'm gonna take the flat side and just Kind of blend it a little. Maybe I should have done the eyes first. There is a teeny bit of fallout that could be from my finger being all over the place. Let me get it on the other eye. I wanna warm up the crease a little bit and everything in these shades, pretty much I've used the only matte shadows there are in this. So I'm gonna go back to my bronzer and just use that to kind of blend it out and warm it up a little bit. So I have never had a fallout issue with Wonder Beauty before. So it would maybe just be these richer, brighter colors and maybe don't use your finger. And then to deepen it up a little bit more in the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with Cedar from that Fling palette. It's a really rich, I'd say more deep, but not flat out. It's not mid-tone, but it's not deep. It's a really wearable shade. I do like this crease brush, but again, it's a little too dense and a little too stiff and a little too big. So back to BK Beauty. My favorite eye brush, it's the 202. I had to make sure it's the 202. It's a more precise crease brush, which, which works great because I have little eyes, little beady eyes, little head. I need little brushes. 
I, all, I do want to lighten up this inner corner. I'm going back and forth. There are two lighter shimmer shades in this palette. I'm going to go with Bouquet and just pop that on the inner corner. It's not as bright as I want. I think, now this is why it's nice to have all these options. I think I'm going to go with Charge from the Rush palette. It's a little bit lighter, that one right there. It has been my experience that brighter eyeshadow tends to look a little scary until you put lashes on, no matter how well it's going. And it's not going great right here. We're gonna fix that. Take my favorite smudger brush, it's the 204. And now I'm going into the Seascape palette again, and I'm using Sand Dollar, which is a little bit of a warmer brown. And then for the ultimate little inner corner pick me up, Back to the highlighter. I haven't done an inner corner highlight in a really long time. I'm using the highlighter just around the, literally just around the tear duct inner corner. I picked this eyeliner. I know I haven't worn eyeliner in a while, but I have been looking for a nice, deep navy blue eyeliner. And when I saw this on the website, I had to try it. It's the Slide Liner Gel Automatic Eyeliner and it's in Nautical Navy. I'm just gonna run it along the lash line. I don't think it really, is discernible that it's blue and not brown or black. It's also really waxy and doesn't really have any color payoff. I will say I've used this once and it wasn't great. And just warming it up now, I'm still not getting any color payoff. We may be skipping liner. So I would say so far, skip the Wonder Beauty brushes, skip this gel eyeliner. Let's do mascara because this I know they do incredibly well. I like to layer it up. I like their Unleashed Volume and Curl, and their Mile High Club, which is volume and length. What I tend to do is do volume and length first, and then follow up with the Unlashed. And I like the Mile High Club because it has a much straighter, thinner brush, so I like this better for lower lashes too. It's a lot easier to get in there. And then pile it on. Such a great mascara. You obviously do not need two mascaras. It's a little extra but I will tell you that this combination is pretty amazing. And then the Unleashed Volume and Curl. And you can see this is a much bigger wand. The bristles aren't as tightly packed. There's still a lot of bristles, but not quite as many. And the brush curves a little bit too. All right, I am going to now set this with that funky, I know I have swatches all over me, with this funky pad. I'm a little shiny right there, and now I'm not. Isn't that cool? Where else do I want to do this? It's on the nose, a little bit here, a little shiny. So here's the plan. I'm going to check out for a minute, dry my hair, wash my hands, and maybe clean up a little bit under here, and then we will do the lips, because there are some great products. Lips. I think my balm that I put on is pretty much absorbed and gone. I have a quite a variety I want to show you. So I showed you that first beach balm. They do come in colors and I ordered this one called Soul. And it's a tinted, very, very faint. Well, it doesn't look that faint on my skin, does it? Very balmy and very bright. And it's a little much with what we have going on here. So we're gonna skip that. I also have, I think there's one more that I have somewhere in my collection. I love these lip products. These are dual ended. They're called the Lip Setter. Wonder Beauty really likes to multitask. So one end is basically a lip liner and then the coordinating kind of matte. I'd say it's more matte than satin lipstick. So one of my favorite pinky nudes, Bahama Breeze, is this one. That's Bahama Breeze, kind of a pinky nude there. And then we will add next to it On The Mauve, which is a beautiful color. And again, whenever I wear this, I get tons of compliments. Then I have this set that has been sitting in a drawer it's so cute. This actually comes with a little mirror that you can stick on the back of your phone. There are four mini lipsticks. They're all shades of pink. There they are, all four. And then finally, I wore this um, in an Instagram stories and got a ton of questions. What is on your lips? I'll use the other hand. This is one of their Lip Retreat oils and these come in a variety of colors, but I got, I wanna say it's skin, yeah, Skinny Dip. And it's a doe foot applicator and it's definitely more brown than pink. And that's what it looks like. I also have no idea why I'm speaking in a sing-song voice, forgive me. So what I think I'm going to do is actually line my lips with Bahama, not on the mall, with Bahama Breeze, and then fill in a little bit and then top the skinny dip. This is the best way to line the bottom lip is to smile so it pulls it taut. Mm. 
like so. And then for the upper lip, I find I get the best full effect, so to speak, if you start from the corner and go up. I don't know why. Don't smile for this part. Let's see what it looks like with just the lip oil. Ooh, that's good. Alrighty, that is the full look. This isn't even all of my Wonder Beauty products. I also have a ton of their liquid eyeshadows. I have some skincare, their eye patches. You know, the little eye masks are incredible. I could, they make some really good products. Um, I'd say my top picks from Wonder Beauty would be both their mascaras, all of their eyeshadow, their powder eyeshadows, and the Nude Illusion Foundation, hands down the best. To skip, for sure, skip the brushes, skip the eyeliner, and I feel like this is a little gimmicky. It's cool, but it's gimmicky, and I forgot to add one other one I really like, and that is their powder foundation. So if you want this, or any of the other gajillion things that are available at Skin Store, don't forget to go check them out and use that 25% off code because that's kind of awesome. Thank you, Skin Store, for sending me all these fun products to try. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I am so happy that you are here. Please make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.